You know how they say the best camera is the one you have with you? I don't know that that's always true. There is an argument to be made for buying better gear. I mean, let's face it, there's a reason that it's called better gear in the first place. It's better because it's better. You don't spend $10,000 on a DSLR and get a DSLR that outputs information equivalent to a $100 used point and shoot. So while it is true that the best camera is the one you have with you or the one that you've already got, that needs to be tempered with the concept that just because better cameras exist doesn't mean that you need them, but it's not a bad idea if you have a very low-grade camera to consider saving your money and spending a little more to get better quality. For example, the Canon R60 that I started my video stuff with, that I shot my first music video footage and my first short film exclusively on, that Canon R60 can be had today for under $200. The modern equivalent, the R800, R80, you can get those for just a hair over $200. Let, let's say $220, I think, was the last sale price I saw. So for $220, you can get a Canon R series with a 1 over 4.85 inch sensor that is noisy, doesn't work well even in well-lit indoor situations. Or you can save your money up, spend five or six hundred dollars, depending on what the sale price is at the moment, on a Panasonic G7 DSLR which has a micro four thirds sensor, 4K recording. No, it's not a camcorder, so there are some disadvantages there. But for $500, if it's on the $500 sale, which is not as common, to get into 4K with a micro four thirds sensor, a great kit lens, image stabilization, why would you spend 250 on the camcorder that has no manual control, well, it has manual control, but it, it's very loose. Why would you spend $250 on a camcorder that's very limited when you could spend $500 on a mirrorless DSLR setup that gives you amazing 4K video quality and takes great photos on the side? Has time lapse, all this other stuff. It, it's amazing how much stuff they packed into that $500 package. I don't think it's best to tell people that they should go out and buy a $200 camcorder when $500 would get them something that is actually production-ish quality. I mean, for a low-budget production, it makes all the difference in the world. So before you go out and give the advice that you should spend very little on a camera, period, you're just starting out, don't spend a lot of money, consider that if they are serious about it, they may be better served by spending a little bit more on the camera. It may make sense for them to spend a little bit more on the camera. If they don't spend that little bit more on the camera, then they're going to have to repurchase that later. If they have the money, they should get a slightly better camera than what they might be looking at right now because they're just beginners or because you're advising them because they're beginners. You don't want to buy the cheapest thing you can get. You want to buy the best camera you can afford reasonably without going too far over budget to try and reach it. You want to get the most camera quality for your dollar or whatever your unit of currency is. And that's really the bottom line. If I had to choose between my R60, my Canon T6i, which cost me about $800, maybe $700, and my G7 kit, which cost me $600, I would take the G7 definitely over the other two options, and I would not even think about it. That's all there is to it. You should get the best camera you can for the dollars. Buying the cheap camera could be a waste of money if you're just going to buy a better camera in half a year. On the flip side, of course, remember that if you buy a decent camera now, there's always the possibility technology will make it look like garbage a year or two down the road. 
and I'm already starting to get to that point. Panasonic has released a successor to the G7 already, or two. It, there's a whole lot going on, but that's always going to happen. You have to buy in the here and now, and not think too far forward. Get the best thing you can get that does what you want. I'm home. I'm going inside.